A class, so I am going to be giving this presentation from the car because my wife and I are actually going back and forth between some different family stuff going on. So we are on the road and she is being super patient, doing a lot of the driving while I am sharing with you guys. So I'm losing my voice a little bit, so if it cracks every once in a while, just pretend like nothing's happened and uh, we'll all push through this together but uh, my wife and I we started seminary about two years ago in the ICP program and so that's why I'm in this class we uh, have been doing seminary and both uh, been in Apex she's working at NC State and I have been working for Apex Baptist Church uh, working with college students so just recently we got done with Expo uh, with the IMB and we have now accepted an invitation to FPO to pursue a job in uh, London. So all of that happened through our church becoming the point church for the Global City Initiative that the IMB is doing and uh, different missionaries from our church being sent to the city of London. So with London being so diverse and having so many different people groups, uh, the people group, quote unquote, that I've been assigned is uh, postmoderns. So it's it's kind of super broad, and it was a little bit tougher to narrow down because um, there's so many different aspects and opinions of postmodern culture. But I thought it would be the most beneficial thing for me to study heading into London um, with the team there, wanting me to uh, focus on Londoners. So, um, I thought we'd go over like the three main places of worship um, in London. Uh, these three main places, unfortunately, aren't the local body believers. Even though London was the main place for missionaries being sent out at one point, obviously now, I'm sure you've heard that it is less than 2% evangelical. And so you have this place that is right in the center of the world where so many different people groups are moving into. Um, so, so many cultures are in one place and it's kind of created this ginormous uh, culture of its own, um, but we're labeling it postmodern culture. So for Londoners, the locals, the ones who have been there for a little while, there's three main places that they worship. Number one is the pub. So we all know what the pub is. It's a little bit different than the typical bar scene here. In America the pub is just kind of like a local hangout it's where people will go uh, after work they're not always drinking at the pub believe it or not uh, it's just kind of a local hangout in London you have the pubs that are more famous some of the older traditional ones the ones that Americans are going to be drawn to the tourist attractions and then you have the pubs that people are going to be locally hanging out consistently the ones that if you're an American you go into you might get some odd looks, but these are where you're going to have better access to reach uh, Londoners at those pubs. The second one, the second place of worship is the pitch. So the pitch is the soccer field, except you don't go to London and call it the soccer field. It's called football. And they make fun of American football, which is ironic because I'm wearing a Saints shirt here in this video right now. But the pitch is really somewhere where I didn't understand how much they worship soccer until I had the opportunity to be there. So uh, with our church being the point church for the city of London, I actually had the opportunity to go there and really do some face-to-face -face interviewing uh, for my paper. And so um, that was a really cool aspect of being able to do this and uh, talk about my experience. But we did get to go see a Premier League soccer game. And so if you don't know what the Premier League is, then you probably don't know much about soccer whatsoever, which is okay, but the Premier League is one of the top tier, if not the best soccer league in the world, and so we went, and we witnessed these people literally singing songs before the games even started, just like we would do at a local church service, and yelling at the refs, and really not a place for a child, lots of lots of cussing these people are into it more than ever they were there hours before the game hours after the game this was clearly a place where people came and met and worshiped 
this soccer team uh, that they root for. It wasn't your, even the biggest rivalries here in America had nothing on what I was witnessing uh, there just between two common teams. They don't allow you to enter and exit the same places that the opposite fans will be because of so many fights. There's literally gangs that they have created um, for these teams that get together and they fight. And so there were these 10 foot uh, fences in between us and the other team's fans to, to separate everybody as much as possible. It was crazy, clearly a place of worship. The third place is the theater. And so this isn't your typical American movie theater. They're actually really big into plays. And so I had an opportunity to go to a play just to experience what this was like. And people were there hours early, really for no reason at all, but for uh, fellowship, just coming together to enjoy each other. Um, which is, sounds bizarre to our American culture who most people don't get to the movie until the previews are already over. And then after, they'll stay there hours after to sit there and clap and cheer for the actors and actresses who are coming out of the exit. So it's just insane the commitment that these people make just to see these actors and actresses enter and to exit uh, these places it's crazy so the pub the pitch and the theater so with postmoderns being so broad uh, just the team the London team has really been thinking through the best way to reach these people is just as common as reaching most other people groups you're gonna be finding common ground you're gonna be building relationships <clears throat> and then you're gonna be sharing the gospel through building those relationships and so my wife and I are excited to hit the ground. We've been sent off to a tube stop, which is uh, one of the stops at the underground train, which is how everybody gets around in London. And we are going to be building relationships, hopefully finding a lot of common ground through the pub, the pitch, and the theater, and uh, a lot more uh, building those relationships, growing closer to these London Londoners, and uh, hoping that the gospel as we share it will have an effect on their hearts. So I'm sorry I'm way over five minutes. Just wanted to share some highlights of the ethnographic interview. Uh, thank you for all the work that you guys have done. I've enjoyed this class and I will see you and be praying for you.